Are you good at lying? A lot of autistic people report that they find lying to be incredibly difficult. But why is that exactly, and why is it so common? The answer is actually relatively straightforward. It turns out that lying is an incredibly sophisticated social skill, and so if you're struggling with managing the complexity of social dynamics, it's likely that you'll also find lying both difficult and annoying. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at why that is and what you can do about it. Hi everyone, Paul Mikalev here from Autism From The Inside. I make weekly videos sharing the human side of autism, so make sure you hit subscribe to get the latest content. So if your upbringing was anything like mine, you were probably taught at a fairly young age that lying is wrong and you should always tell the truth. It turns out that advice is about as good as be nice. Yes, it's really good to be nice to each other. We get along much better with other people when everyone is nice to each other. But eventually when you grow up, you realize that being nice is not the same thing as letting other people push you around. And that sometimes standing up for yourself means not being very nice at all. So in a similar way, I had internalized this concept that lying is a moral thing. I should always tell the truth. People should always tell the truth. And when someone else misleads me or says something that is not accurate, because in my mind, saying something that wasn't accurate was a lie. I remember I used to annoy my parents because I would ask, what time is it? And they would say three o'clock. And I would say, hang on a minute. I'm looking at the clock right now. It's 3.02. Why are you telling me that it's three o'clock? Why are you lying to me like that? So I guess one distinction is that very often people simplify the truth, just like we teach children that lying is a bad thing and that being nice is a good thing. That is a simplification of the truth, just like saying it's three o'clock when it's actually two minutes past three o'clock is a simplification of the truth. And this was the first big realization for me that really opened up this whole concept of what does it mean to be honest? And the way I think about it now that I found most helpful is that when we are trying to convey information, sometimes it's more effective to convey a simpler form of the information, like when my parents said it's three o'clock instead of saying it's 302. So in that sense, if what I'm trying to do is convey correct information, then sometimes being less accurate or sometimes, as we'll see later, even being indirect about that can actually be an effective way to successfully convey the information that I'm trying to get across. So one of the biggest shifts for me was to get out of this concept, this black and white concept of lying versus telling the truth and start thinking about lying in terms of managing social information. And when I think about it in that context, it makes sense that managing information and who has access to information is actually a really important social skill. That includes things like privacy, it includes things like keeping a secret, otherwise known as confidentiality, right? When you go to see a psychologist or a doctor or something, there is an inherent confidentiality agreement in there that they are not allowed to go and tell other people your private information that you've shared with them. So in that sense, protecting information is actually a good thing. And sometimes the best way to protect information is to pretend that you don't know it at all. I remember a scene from The Big Bang Theory where Sheldon was asked specifically not to say something. I can't even remember what the details were. But he was so horrifically bad at lying that he wasn't even asked the question. It was just so obvious from his face and body language that there was something wrong. And when, some, when you check in with him, hey Sheldon, what's wrong? Why are you acting weird? His answer would be no reason right, trying to lie, and it would be so obvious that he's holding something back that it deliberately draws additional attention to that fact until he eventually breaks and gives out the secret. What's wrong with your face? There's no reason to bring my looks into this. 
That is not a very effective strategy. Maybe some of you can relate to that when you know there's something you're not allowed to say and just knowing that you're not allowed to say it is so internally stressful from, from a social anxiety point of view that it actually makes it harder to keep that secret. So what if the frame, the way of thinking about it that I have in my head shifts from I'm lying, I'm keeping a secret, I have to do something deceptive to try and trick someone to I'm respecting privacy. I'm keeping confidentiality. I'm doing my duty in this social situation. And don't get me wrong, the ethics around being honest have been debated by philosophers for centuries. A stereotypical example of where lying might be a good thing, there was a teacher trying to protect her students during a school shooting. She got all the children to hide in the cupboards and then when the shooter came in, she said they were all outside. Was she lying? Yes. Did she save the lives of her students? Also yes. But what if we reframe this whole situation to protecting the privacy of the information? The teacher's deliberate deception was for the purpose of protecting the private information of the location of the students that the shooter had no right to. So that's obviously quite an extreme example, but in an everyday setting, knowledge is still power. And so the real morality is not, do I tell the truth, do I tell a lie? The real morality is, how do I use that power? Am I using it to push people around through tricks and deception? Or am I using that same power to protect sensitive information? There was a time when I would have said something along the lines of, wouldn't it be a lot easier if everyone just told the truth all the time? The short answer is no, that's absolutely not the case. Saying that is basically asking for a world where there's no stealing, no deception, no abuse, everyone is 100% safe 100% of the time and there's no one ever uses their power against someone else. So I think the real question is why do so many autistic people say this kind of stuff? And I think it's because we are incredibly vulnerable to being hurt by lies and deception and tricks and social manipulation and essentially trusting people who in the end don't have our best interests in mind and can easily take advantage of the fact that we find social dynamics difficult. So when I say, wouldn't it be nice if everyone was really direct and just told the truth the whole time? What I mean is, wouldn't it be nice if people didn't take advantage of me because of my disability? The good news is though that just like any other social skill, you can practice and get better. I've literally taught myself as an adult how to much better manage this kind of social information. Whereas previously I'd trip myself up, constantly questioning is what I'm saying 100% technically accurate? Which would end up leading me to share things with people that I probably shouldn't have shared. And I talk explicitly about oversharing in a separate video. So I'm really curious to hear what you thought about what I've shared today. What is your opinion on lying? Is it a black and white thing for you? Is it a moral thing for you? It's either right or wrong. How do you balance managing social information in your own life? And what do you think of my flip to see knowledge and information as power and therefore the real moral question is how am I using that power? Anyway, I really should leave it there. I definitely want to encourage you if you feel like you're not already good at this particular skill, just like any social skill or emotional intelligence skill, you can train it and you can get better. So check out my website if you're interested in emotional intelligence training and learning authentic autistic social skills. So thanks again for watching. Hope you found this topic interesting and I'll see you again next week. Bye.